What's up, Urban Acolyte fam? My name is Prince and I'm an Urban Acolyte. This is gonna be my preview for the movie Triple Threat, which is being billed as the Asian Expendables because it's a lot like those Expendables movies, but this is starring some of the hottest martial arts action stars in the industry. Now, if you've been here for a minute, you'll know that I did a video on Triple Threat about two years ago. So shout out to all those Eco Uwe's fans in Indonesia for helping that video get to over a half million views. All right, so we know a little bit more about this movie than we did back in 2017 when I did that last video. So according to the film's press release, we're gonna see a down and out team of mercenaries take on a group of professional assassins and stop them before they kill their target, which is a billionaire's daughter who is intent on bringing down a major crime syndicate. Now this breakneck thriller teams over half a dozen of the world's biggest action stars for the biggest martial arts event film of the year. Now, there's some really cool things to look forward to about this movie. One of them is that the director, Jesse Johnson, went out and got a stunt coordinators from the East and from the West to help with the action scenes in the movie. Basically, all of the different styles and backgrounds of the characters in the movie will be represented in the fight scenes. So our heroes are all representing different styles and that's gonna be the trio of Tony Ja. Iko Uwes and Tiger Chin. Now out of those three actors, I think Tiger Chin might be the actor that some of you are the least familiar with because most of his movies are out of China. So Tiger's biggest movie is probably Man of Tai Chi that also starred Keanu Reeves. Tiger Chin and Keanu have a long history of working together because Tiger Chin was a stunt fighter in the Matrix trilogy. I think he stunt doubled for Colin Cho, who played Seraph, and he was also featured in the fight at the Merovingian's mansion. Now, the other two making up the trio are, of course, Tony Ja and Iko Uwes. Tony Ja blew up from his bone splitting moves in the Ong Bak and Protector movies that featured Moi Baran, the Thai style of fighting that birthed Muay Thai or Thai boxing. Iko Uwes is probably the hottest name right now of these three. Iko is broken into the Hollywood market after blowing up doing the Raid films with Gareth Evans. The two Raid films put Iko Uwes on the map and they featured the Indonesian martial arts style of Pinjok Silat. From what I can tell, Tiger Chin and Tony Jaa are both mercenaries who are working with the mercenary team of Michael Jai White Scott Atkins, UFC fighter Michael Bisping, and Gigi Yanin. Now, I don't know exactly what's gonna happen to cause Tiger Chin and Tony Jaws characters to leave the Mercs, but maybe it has something to do with their mission to kidnap this mob boss's daughter, who I believe is being played by Selena Jade. Now, Iko Uwe's character appears to be some kind of prize fighter, or at least some dude who was fighting in an underground fighting circuit. And Iko and Tiger Chin's characters have some kind of beef between them in the movie. Now, the whole history between Iko Uwe's and Tiger Chin could be an Easter egg because Iko Uwe's was actually supposed to fight Tiger Chin in Man of Tai Chi, but Tiger's character backed out of the fight when he challenged Keanu Reeves' character. Like I said, this movie is gonna be full of in-your-face action, and I can't wait. We got three dudes representing Kung Fu, Silat, and Muay Thai on one side, and then look at the bad guys on the other side, and Michael Jai White, Scott Atkins, Gigi Yanin, and Michael Bisping. Now, if you don't know anything about Gigi Yanin, hey man, I love me some Gija. So Gija Yanin was once billed as the female Tony Ja. I think she was a Taekwondo champion before she started doing films. She studied Moi Baran and Tumbling. Her big breakout film was called Chocolate, where she played an autistic martial arts master. She did all of her stunts in that film, and she's done a few others since Chocolate, like Raging Phoenix, and she was in The Protector 2 with Tony Ja. Now, another dude I wanna shout out who was in this film is Ron Smorenberg. Ron actually sent me an email after I posted my first video about Triple Threat back in 2017. Ron is a Dutch martial artist, a stuntman, and a fight choreographer. He's been in quite a few films that I've actually seen, and he's most proud of a fight he did against Jackie Chan in Who Am I? And I just checked, I've actually seen about eight of Ron's movies, so that's pretty cool. Shout out to you, Ron, and thanks for writing me. If you wanna break into the fight game, Ron's advice to me is to learn how to do some cool kicks, some flips, and move to Thailand. 
So I think I better start training. <laughs> but okay, so this movie is already out in some Asian markets. I think it came out at the end of January in China and the movie will come out on March 19th in the US and it will only be in theaters for one night. It'll be available on video on demand on March 22nd. So be ready to buy it on the Google Play Store, Amazon, or on iTunes on March 22nd. Let me repeat that. Be ready to buy it on March the 22nd from iTunes, Amazon, or Google Play. And don't ask about where you can download it illegally. Please pay for these movies or find them on Netflix or on Hulu so that the studios will at least see that there is an audience for these kinds of movies. Look, man, I can understand when your money's tight. My views are way down on YouTube, and I want to talk more about movies like this, which means my views are going to be even worse because I'm not talking about Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars 24-7. But I mean, even when money is tight, I pay for the movies that I want to see. So these Star Wars boycotters, you know, they say they want to talk to these studios with their wallets. Well, guess what? These studios, these small studios making movies like this one, they don't have those fat Mickey Mouse paychecks funding them from everything related to Disney. Triple Threat was actually filmed in like two months and Jesse Johnson edited the movie himself. I know because Ron told me and I was kind of stalking Jesse's social media. <laughs> so if you want more of these kinds of movies, please pay for them. That's the only way that they'll keep finding people to fund the movies. Like I said, if you just want to watch them on Netflix or on Hulu, those numbers do get reported to Arclight. And, uh, and that says, hey, there's people actually watching these movies. There's an audience for them. So that's my soapbox on paying for these action martial arts kind of movies. I really hope it turns out great. Some people have been asking me for the last two years about when's Triple Threat coming out? When is Triple Threat coming out, Prince? Hey dog, it's almost here. I want it to be awesome so that there might be a sequel. But I mean, those are my thoughts. Now I'd like to hear from you. Have you been waiting on this movie or is this the first time you've ever heard of it? And also, what are you most looking forward to seeing in the movie now that you know? Because if you didn't know, now you know, you know, homie. <laughs> but uh, if you like this video, hey, dog, hit that like button and share it with your friends. Get the word out about Triple Threat. If you have something to share with the Urban Acolyte community, post it down below in the comments and I'll be checking back to see what you have to say. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can take your first steps towards becoming an urban acolyte. Embark on the journey of becoming the hero of your own story and become a force for change in your community. Make sure to enable notifications and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and on the gram so you'll know when I'm going live with Star Wars chats or playing Star Wars Old Republic or just kicking it. Uh, and if you're interested in getting deeper into the whole real life Jedi the Sith version, make sure you hit my link when it's available so that you can get your free training manual today or whatever day it is when I finally get the thing posted. It's almost finished, y'all. I finished writing it, so it's almost ready. I just gotta make it look pretty. <laughs> but that's all I got for this video, so thanks for watching. Y'all keep on breathing. May the force of others be with you, always.